Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Ty Twin, and I'm back at it again with another flight attendant video. I don't look like a flight attendant at all, but just give me moments because I am getting ready for work as we speak. I'm really excited because today I picked up all my days off because I needed to work. Your girl gotta get some shmoney. Well, a bad bitch needed some. I picked up a two day trip and I'm going to Seattle, guys. I've heard Seattle is beautiful. I've never actually been in the city, but I heard it's gorgeous. And so, yeah, I was finally able to get a trip to Seattle. And I know it's not like Hawaii or Amsterdam or Lisbon, which, you know, a lot of my classmates who are based in Philly, they are getting any and everything international. One of my classmates who was based here in um, Dallas got Korea. And if y'all don't know, I used to live in Korea, so I was mad jealous. And that same week she got Hawaii. And if y'all don't know, I've been trying, stalking the trade board, trying to pick up Hawaii on my days off. Hasn't worked out yet, but guys, one day, okay? Now, I plan on trying to at least walk around, I'm trying to pay off these, all these things that I need to pay off. So I just planning on doing all, <laughs> The free things okay if the outfit i picked out i'm pretty sure it's appropriate for seattle weather it's supposed to be 50 a high of 59 there but you know it's next to water and then it's like 59 cold 59 so if i am not dressed appropriately guys we're gonna snap a pic and we're gonna go back to the room but we're gonna hope that the clothes that i brought or patched are good enough for the weather but yeah just give me a moment and i'll be back looking like something Hey guys, so I did make it to the airport. I left at eight and my signing is until seven or 9.35. So I have an exactly an hour to actually get to the terminal and sign in. So yeah, I do have one leg today from Dallas to Seattle. It's supposed to be five, four hours and let me see how long it's blocked at actually. It's blocked at five hours and 31 minutes. So that's a super long flight, but I feel like I'm okay with it being a super long flight because I'm going to Seattle and I've never been and I hear it's beautiful. Like I told y'all before, um, let's see. Yeah, I don't have the actual flight time or anything yet. So we'll just see how long it actually ends up being. I'm about to head over to walk over to the buses now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in Seattle. Guys, so I did make it to Seattle. I just got here though, like, I don't know, to the hotel specifically, maybe 20 minutes ago, if that. I got here, changed clothes. My phone is charging because I'm, I'm about to go out and walk around and see what downtown Seattle has to offer. Let me give y'all room to it though first. Start with the front door. Then we have a hallway situation. So this is the closet. In here, there's pretty much nothing. Um, there was a luggage rack, but I took it out because I'm using it. I'm gonna turn and go into the bathroom. Just standard, normal, nothing crazy or anything. This is me, guys, love this lighting. It's immaculate and amazing. I have this little mirror so I can pluck my eyebrow correctly today. And you know, here's a full body mirror, but let me explain something. Guys, it is a vision I'm going for it. And when you see the fire pictures I'm gonna take with my outfit, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, Ty, the vision, I see it. It's a vision, it's a look. For me, it's a look. And I can really pull off anything. So this is what I'm working with today. So now we're going to go into the room. Coffee maker, Keurig, and then we have a TV. There's a refrigerator in here. Desk, my stuff. I have one bed right here. Um, a chair back there. And then here is the view from my room. So I got a little downtown action. So the plan is to walk. I know if I go straight down this way, like, 
back the opposite way that my view is facing it's like nothing but water so i'm gonna go down and see what that is there is the pikes place market i think it's called i want to go see what that's about and apparently that's really common and what people or tourists do here but i see this tiktok and it looked like it had some cool stuff so that's why i'm gonna go do it or go see it i would go see the space needle sky needle i don't know what it's called but it cost sixty dollars and your girl is falling on the budget so it's cool though because i'll come back for sure one day like it's fine um and then there's actually an observatory in one of these buildings but it sucks because and it overlooks the whole city but it sucks because it's only open on the weekend so yeah basically tough tea okay <laughs> Childhood, childhood. That's so crazy. Guys, I feel so bad. So I'm just walking down here, enjoying life. I'm not getting a notification from my phone saying your AirPods 
are have been left behind so i'm like wait a minute so i look in my pocket it was in this pocket right here and they weren't there so i just feel so bad because they were a gift and i felt horrible so i went back to where it said they were and i cannot find them and i'm freaking out of my head because like i do not like to lose things people give to me so after I leave from this dock here, I'm gonna go back again, try and find them. If I can't find them, <laughs> I will have a conversation where basically they're like, Ty, are you serious? <laughs> so yeah, pray for me, cross your fingers. Although by the time y'all see this, it'll be well past. And I mean, I'll update y'all if I ever find them. Hopefully I do. Crossing my fingers that they're still there. Cause they're in the little Vaseline case, so hopefully somebody just thinks it's Vaseline. So yeah, let me walk down the street, and I'm gonna walk back, and hopefully I can find them. I'm happy. Okay guys, I searched again, went back to Pike's place and I ended up finding my headphones. I searched for about 40 minutes probably and I finally found them in the most randomest place. I don't understand how they ended up there, but basically the notification on my phone when I started making it make noise said that they were found and they was placed in a place. And so when I went down the stairs, I found them. Oh, calling my grandparents, hold on. But yeah, I'm happy now. Now let's go back to the hotel. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the room. I took a shower, changed of clothes, and now I'm finna learn this TikTok dance because I told my cousin, like she posted it saying she finally learned it. And so I told her um, it didn't look that hard to learn. And yeah, she said I had no personality because I don't do TikTok dances. <laughs> so I said, okay, okay. Oh my. I ain't got no personality. Oh my. And so basically, I'm finna learn this TikTok dance. So let's get into it. Keep on running back to you. Hey guys, so it is 4.44 in the morning. And yeah, my van time is 4.50. I think I fell asleep around 8 o'clock here, which makes sense though because that's 10 o'clock Dallas time and I did a lot of walking, especially doubling back twice to find my AirPods, which I am so thankful that I found. The room is all packed up. I just have to stack my tote back on top and then head downstairs. I do have two legs today, Seattle to Chicago, Chicago to Dallas an hour and a half sit in between, which is basically nothing. So yeah, y'all yeah, should be home around 4.30, 5 o'clock. See you. Oh, and I'm running the 7.37 all day today, which is not my favorite plane, but what can I do about it? I prefer AirBus, naturally, because I used to work on AirBus. And there's so much more room and space for me. We'll see y'all um, on the plane maybe, in Dallas, in Chicago, who knows? I'll see y'all though. Okay guys, such a packed day. I'm back at the house, it's 6.41. I think I got, I landed at five, I don't know. I know at one point I looked at my watch and it's at 5.09, that could have been the time I ended up getting in the car at the time the bus came, the employee shuttle, I don't know. Either way, it's been a really packed day. So let's, let's uncap real quick. So basically, two flights, Seattle to Chicago, Chicago to Dallas. The first flight, super good. Y'all, I smashed. First off, I did breakfast service on the first flight, y'all. I smashed two croissants, two things of butter. Oh my gosh, those croissants are so good. If y'all ever get the opportunity to eat the croissants with the butter, it's the unsalted butter, which is really makes the croissants good. But yeah. Now moving on, we had an hour and a half sit in Chicago. We thought our plane was there, but it wasn't. So we ended up having, being delayed. I'm at the gate just waiting, talking to the gate agent. Thanks so you know. Two trainees come up and they look like, like they're like, hi? And I'm like, uh, do I know you? <laughs> so one of the girls is like, 
um it's my oe i follow you on youtube this and that and i'm like oh hey and she tells me her name turns out this girl she followed me all the way when i was you know still flying at spirit or whatnot turns out she ended up coming to work at spirit and the day i think after her graduation she was going flying back home and i ended up being her number one on that flight after she graduated from spirit and it's so funny because now this is her first oe which is operating experience which is what you do while in training you have two of them and I was her number one flight attendant now. She's up in the front with me. It's so crazy. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, girl, I'm just a part of all your milestone moments. Like, just know it's gonna be great if I'm around because apparently that's usually how it's been. <laughs> Tell me why they thought the flight was, not they, not the trainees. Tell me why catering thought the flight or had received notification or whatever that the flight was canceled. Do y'all know we did not get catered at all? So I'm calling them during boarding and I'm like, hey, um, I think we're almost done boarding. We haven't been catered at all. I don't have anything. So then I have the pilots call and they call me back and we're going back and forth about what we need, what we don't have. Do y'all know we ended up leaving like 20 minutes late at first? Well, it was actually more than that because one, the plane, inbound plane was late. Two, um, catering happened so the pilot was like well we'll wait 10 minutes for them after we were completely done boarding the pilot was like we'll wait 10 minutes and I'm like alright so then we end up talking with them or whatever the pilots and he was like you know what we can wait two minutes y'all can figure it out and I'm like bet we can figure it out I'm trying to get home we can finesse something first class gonna be happy um main cabin go happy we'll figure it out it's all a finesse it just a flight attendant honestly so then I'm like, hey, two minutes is up. Can I close? He's like, no, there's no push team. So I'm like, oh. So finally, as we're waiting for the people to push the plane back, catering ends up coming. They bring up like two carts, one cart, honestly, for the back. And they bring me a couple things from the front. I'm like, all right, cool. We still waiting on the push team. So eventually we pushed back and the flight overall was really good. Everybody was happy. Everybody was cool. That's pretty much the end of this trip, guys. Um, I am on a wrap B tomorrow because those were my days off. So I do have four days of reserve for tomorrow. So we're starting tomorrow. So we'll see what ends up happening and where I end up going. But until then, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about what we got going on over here. Yeah, that's all I have to say. So I will see y'all later. Okay, bye.